Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie and this is Our Budget Life. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll consider clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos in the future. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Now, what I have here is my Erin Condren monthly planner. This is the eight and a half by 11, and this is my budget planner. So I'm about to set up our budget for the month of November. So if you wanna see how I put my monthly budget together, stay tuned. <music> So as I said, I am going to be putting up or putting together my November budget. So we are going to do the month of November. Now I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do my bill, um, my bill due stickers on my monthly just yet. I am trying to see if I can come up with a whole monthly, um, kind of sticker kit that I can use to decorate and then I would make the bill do stickers coordinate and then the only other thing that would be a different color would be my expense stickers so we may do the bill do stickers a little later on but for now I'm going to go to the first page and this is where we are going to set up the main budget now to do that I am going to use my November budget kit. And these are the stickers that are available in my Etsy shop. So I think I'm going to use one of these washies, this thick washi. And I will use the variable and fixed expense budget, which um, are separate on this one. I used to use the one where all expenses were listed all together, but my list has grown, so I need to keep them separate. And then we are going to do the weekly check-in um, once we are ready to start doing the check-in. So let me just keep all of that separate. And let's go ahead and lay this down. So I hope you are all doing well. I don't know. Have any of you set up your November budget yet? Are you ready to go for the next month? It's really good. Um, a really good idea to make sure that you do this ahead of time so that you have it prepared and I know for me especially because October was a three payday month our last pay will be on October 29th and by then really all of our bills are paid for October so a lot of the money that we are being paid at the end of October will be rolled over into November and will go to pay you know the first things like rent and our utilities and stuff so that's why I really wanted to get this set up so that it's ready to go. And I'll just lay this down. All right, now I'm gonna leave four spaces for income. So one, two, three, four, and I'll put this one here. And then let's add a decorative thin washi. Let's go with this plaid one. I think it's so cute. And we'll put this one here just to separate it a little bit. Oh, I put that down crooked. Come on. Let's just straighten this out a little bit. Okay. So we have that. And then we have our fixed and variable expenses. Now I am going to do the fixed expenses on the right, just because I have less of those. And because the amounts are pretty much set, I will have less writing to do, and that way I don't have to do too much writing on the coil. And then I will put the variable on the left. And that way I have more room for that. All right. So then I usually go down to the bottom, put this last strip on the very bottom of the page because I need all of the space. 
in my planner for all the bills. So I'll do that. Let's add this floral washi in between. And then we will put our fixed and variable totals above that. So we'll start with total fixed. Try to lay it down straight. It's hard to do it when you're doing it from the inside out. I'm used to putting the stickers down from the left to the right. I feel like that's a little crooked, but that's okay. I'll deal. And then we'll put this one down over here. Be nice if it was on the line. All right, so we have that. So that is our budget, or at least the stickers all laid out. So let me go ahead now and add some lines. I'm going to use, if I can find it, I'm going to use my Hello Kitty dashboard to add some lines just to separate things and make it look a little neater. So separate our estimated. I'm going to go this way so I don't get black ink on my dashboard. And like that. And then actual. And then we have our fixed expenses, which I'll just put the line right, right here, I think. And then we'll go to variable expenses. And budget. I will add the line all the way onto my sticker since I didn't separate it just because it would have taken too much space and then actual oh I put the line on the sticker on that one that's not what I meant to do shoot okay and then I'll just add this final line here just to make sure that our fixed and variable are separate I guess I'm going to have to keep the line going from the top. All right, let me just fix this so that it looks the same. All right, so there we go. We have our lines. So now let's go ahead and add in the information. Let me zoom you in a bit so you can see a bit better. All right, so I just slanted my camera as well since I have to I always write sideways. I always put the book sideways. So slanted my camera so that you're not sideways. All right. So first for income. So I have my pay. I have my husband's pay. We have our rollover that I spoke about already. And then other. And the other is usually the payment that my mom gives me for her Netflix and my dad's cell phone. So it's nothing big. All right, so estimated. My estimated income for November is $5,200. The estimated income for my husband is $3,500. Our rollover is also $3,500. And then estimated other is just $60. All right, so let's go ahead and add this up. So I have my calculator. So you're gonna go 5,200 plus 3,500 plus 3,500 plus 60. So that's $12,260. All right, so that is our total estimated income and that is pretty good. I am liking that my husband has been working, so um, it's, it's, I know he struggled a lot before making sure he had income, so. 
All right, so for fixed expenses, let's go ahead and start. So we do have our rent, and rent is $1,750. Then, so our utilities for heat and hydro, uh, usually by now I would have the exact amount, but my landlady hasn't sent us the exact amount. So I'm going to put what I usually budget and then I can always fix it afterwards. So for that, so for heat, I usually budget 125, especially now that we've turned the heat on a little bit, it's getting cold outside. And then hydro, we've actually, our hydro bill has been going up. So I've increased it from $90 to $100 and we'll see if that helps. Next we have our van payment. And that is five thirty five ten. That's two payments of two sixty seven fifty five. And then we have our car payment, and that is um, so each payment I didn't total it up. So one eighty fourteen times two. So that's three sixty twenty eight. That's two payments of one eighty fourteen. Then we have our home insurance, and that is forty-eight forty-three. We have our RESPs, and I know I've explained this before, but in case we have anyone who's new, RESPs are registered educational savings plans, and that's something that is specific to Canada. It is money that we put aside every month for our children. Um, and it goes towards their education. So when they decide to go to university or college, this money will be there to help them pay so that they don't have to take out as much uh, student loan because we don't want them to start off their life in debt. So we do that. So that's one sixteen ninety eight. Then we have Netflix. And... I wonder, did I already increase that? So our Netflix is going up by $2 per account. So in October, Netflix, where is Netflix? Oh, that's Paycheck. Netflix was $26.98, and it's going up by $2 per account, and we have two separate accounts, one for my mom and one for us. So I'm going to add $4 to that. So that means we are going up to... $30.98, which is expensive, but it's a lot better than going to the movies, which we can't even do right now. So, all right, next we have our Crave subscription, and that is $29.35. We have Disney Plus for the kids mostly, and that is $8.99. Then I have my Microsoft, and that is a monthly payment, so I can use the Microsoft programs, and that's $12.43. And then I have Adobe. Now, I got Adobe so that I could use Photoshop when I make my stickers to post them in my Etsy shop for the listings. Um, Adobe is not user-friendly, at least it's not for me. So I've actually been using a different program called Canva, and that has been even better. So I may not need Adobe much longer, so I may be getting rid of this. We'll have to see. So that's it for our fixed expenses. So let's go ahead and add those up. So total fixed expenses that we've budgeted for um, is $3,133.14. So those are fixed expenses for the month of November. Now let's go ahead and do our variable. Now for variable, I do, I do put our van insurance and our car insurance in variable because I don't know exactly how much it is right off the bat. So I'm going to put Van insurance, I know it's approximately $220. Then we have our car insurance, and that is approximately 661 
Then we have our cell phones. And this is for four cell phones. Mine, my husband's, my son's, and my dad's. So we budget $400 for that. Then we have our internet. And we budget $110 for that. And so gymnastics. Unless they raise it again this month, I think it should be 322. Dance should be 371. Then we have all of our Amazon subscriptions, and that is approximately $40. We have bank fees, which is approximately $35. Uh, then we get into some of our really variable categories. So we have groceries, which I will budget $8.50. Then we have gas for our cars, the two cars. And I am budgeting $600. However, we haven't needed this much yet anyway. But I'm still going to budget that much just in case. Uh, we do have an other category this month. And that is for um, a few birthdays we have going on. So I'm going to budget $500. One of the birthdays being mine. So um, then we are going to have sinking funds. I'm not going to put the total there just yet, and uh, you'll see why. Then we have rollover. And then we have unbudgeted. Which unbudgeted, I always put at $0 because we hope it's 0 Okay, so now for rollover, this will be the rollover that I will use for the month of December. And what I usually do is I calculate the rent, heat, and hydro, and then I add a little bit for food and anything that I might need until my next paycheck in the month. So with these three, it comes out to 1975. So I think what I'll do is I will do a rollover of $2,500, and that will go into the December budget. So this is the minimum that I want to bring into the December budget to make sure that I have enough to cover the first few bills we have in that month. All right. Now I'm going to add all of this up so that I can then see what I have available for sinking funds. So so that brings our total to 6609. And then if I add with the, or sorry, it's $6,609, not $66. If I add that to our, actually, let me just write off to the side this amount. So $6,609. So if I add that to this uh, total fixed expenses, so 313314, that brings us to 9000 seven hundred and forty two dollars and fourteen cents I just have some scrap paper on the side that I'm writing this down on just to make sure I don't lose the totals so this is total that I have for all of these expenses so far now my estimated income is twelve thousand two sixty so I'm going to subtract the amount that I just added up from this twelve thousand two sixty and that leaves me with $2,517.86. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put in sinking funds $2,500. And then total potential savings should leave me at $1,786, which is not really savings. This would just end up being rolled over, but this would be kind of like a buffer. So if I take, we had 6609 was our total. And then I just added the $2,500. So that's 9109 for total estimated variable. So $9,109. 
Now, if I did my math correctly, this plus this plus this should equal my estimated income. So let's just double check. So we have 9109 plus 3133.14 plus the total potential savings of 1786 is 12,260, so we match. So that is the budget for November. Let me zoom you out so you can see. All right, so that ends up being our total budget for the month of November. So we have our estimated income, we have our fixed expenses, we have our budgeted variable expenses, and we even had money left over to put into sinking funds. Now, will we be able to use that much money for sinking funds? Who knows, because it will depend on how much we actually spend in groceries, gas, other, and the unbudgeted category, which usually gets me. So we'll have to see how it goes. But at least it's a good idea to have, you know, an amount there, something to aim towards. So that's where we're at. So that's it for this budget. I'm going to see if I can come back and add in my budget stickers. If I'm able to put a kit together in time, I will do that. If not, we'll just go ahead and add any bill due stickers that I have at the time. So I will be right back. Okay, everyone, so I'm back. So I decided to just go ahead and put some stickers down rather than waiting to try to put a kit together. I can always do that for next month. But I wanted to get some stickers down. Now, I didn't have a chance to print my own Bill Do stickers. If you remember, they do look like this. They're the gray ones that I use here. I do have various colors. Um, I did have some pink ones left, but because I use pink for my gas expenses, I didn't want to add that. So what I did is I used an old budget book that I have from the Happy Planner. This is from 2017. I have had this in my stash for quite some time and I never use it because I make my own stickers. I decided to go ahead and use the stickers in my planner this month. So I'm going to go ahead and write in the totals so that we can see where we are at. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Okay, so I think those are all the bills that we have due this month. So I think I got all the stickers. I don't think I missed anything. So hopefully we're good with that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and find my I have these payday stickers. So I'm just going to add that the 12th is my payday. It's actually for both mine and my husband. We both get paid on the same days. And the 26th. And I am hoping to get another pay on the 30th for another kind of part-time job that I have. So that is where we are at for the month of November. So we have all of our stickers down. Now let me just go ahead and white out so I don't need to know what's going on in terms of activities for the month because that does not have anything to do with my budget. So I'm just going to white that out. And yeah, so we have all of our bills down and we have our budget all done and ready to go. So that is exciting. So I'm happy with that. I hope this gives you an idea of how you can plan out your budget. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them down in the description box down below. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.